ですけど。This is the story of the elephant and the waterbed. Uh, many, many years ago, when I was in、uh, Regina, Saskatchewan, I was chosen to do a remote for a brand new waterbed store called the Waterbed Factory. Now, the owner,、oh, hang on. Keyboard is so awesome. Now, the owner of the、uh, Waterbed Factory, I can't say his name because chances are he's going to be watching this, had this big campaign he called the China Syndrome. He was going to explain to everybody that that myth of your building a waterbed on one floor and it crashing through the, the, the floor to the basement all the way to China was just a myth. The waterbeds could put up with a lot of weight, okay? So his idea bringing in a baby elephant from Texas. He would walk into the studio, stand on the bed, and show just how well it worked, okay? Hang on, it's good part. Holy my head. So, I was chosen to do the remote on this, and I'm broadcasting live in front of this waterbed as the baby elephant is ushered in, all the way from Texas. Now, I don't know about the travel plans of the elephant, but apparently he did not go to the bathroom since leaving Texas, all right? So, the elephant walks into the studio, and right away. <laughs> Sorry, it's good for you. There's elephant poo everywhere. I don't know if you've ever seen elephant poo, but it's like lots. And the place smells already, but the elephant's kind of strolling in and it's dropping all these deuces. And I'm on the air going, here comes the elephant, trying to keep a straight face. Elephant puts one leg on the bed, puts the second leg on the bed, and just as the third one's about to go, the water bed explodes. Water, elephant poo everywhere. And me on the air going, it's a small problem. We'll be right back.